Okay, now that we're inside of Adobe Muse, let's just go ahead and quickly start and start by showing you exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. So we're going to have our menu pinned at the top on top of our content, and when you scroll up and down on the page, you can see the menu is staying at the top. And you know, our menu is working just as it should. You can see that we've got our About Us page, our Contact page, and whenever we click those, it will take us to another page just nice. And it sort of sits, sits, uh, sits on the top, and if you guys are working on a website that sort of wants or needs that functionality then this is definitely a great tutorial for you guys so let's just go ahead and dive in and show you exactly how we created this so one thing that I do want to mention before we go any further is that whenever you're working with your header stuff you need to make sure you are working in the a master pages all of your header stuff is going to be in here so the first thing that I need to do then is I need to create that black panel that sort of pins to the top of the screen. So as usual, we are just going to create a rectangle and we're going to drag it into our scene just like this. And we're going to make sure we've got the option for width to 100% when we're dragging that in. With that, we're going to go ahead and change the fill color to black and go to effects, just well the little opacity next to effects here and just change this down to something like maybe 60% and that should be fine. We've also got to make sure this rectangle is not in our content layer. So just go ahead and drag both the rectangle and the menu above the content layer where everything else is. The reason why I'm doing this is because we want this to display on top of the normal content when we scroll up and down on the website. So just make sure it's in the layer above. It doesn't have to be called anything for special for now. If you've got the layer already, just go ahead and use that. If not, just create a new one. I'm just going to call this header for now because for whatever reason, I don't have one already. So when I turn the header on and off now, it is looking great. And in terms of layers, I'm also going to make sure my menu is just above the rectangle as well. And now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and basically pin both of these items to the top of our screen so they stay there regardless. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to click the icon we want to pin to the top of the screen and just go ahead and choose pin an object up here to the top center and that will work just fine for us. So if we go ahead and preview the page in the browser now, you can see it sort of works. Um, so let's just go ahead and do this again with the whole website this time. And we are just going to go onto the home page where we actually have a little bit of content. So you can see our black rectangle is pinned to the top and it's not moving. So we just need to do that same pinning thing to the menu as well. And we are pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go and go into our A master again grab our menu and pin it to the top. Now, if you want it to be on top of the content by default, your little menu here, select the icon at the top, you know, not your icon, but the, the item that is at the sort of the highest location in your web page, and you'll sort of see this pop up, so you can, your vertical move handle, drag that up, so it goes underneath the header and that will sort of put the header on top which is quite nice and hopefully it should look quite fancy so let's just go ahead and preview this in the browser and see exactly how it looks so there you are that is our menu it's all pinned to the top and it's looking really good now you guys could go ahead and proceed to style these buttons up here for about us contact and so on and that's something that I'm going to be going over in the next video so we're going to be explaining all of the different states for our buttons rollover hover all of the different effects and that kind of thing so once again guys thanks for watching make sure you share the video smack that like button and I will see you next time goodbye